All right, let's grab a question out of the You Don't Know My Life box. And by the way, we encourage you to steal these for the dinner table or for your friends at work or for your next Zoom meeting. Okay, today's question is, what's the uniform or costume you had to wear for work? The worst one. The right. worst uniform or costume. Because this is this is kind of um, in honor of Halloween last night when, you know, this is released. It, it's uh, the day after Halloween. Um, today's the Day of the Dead. Um, yes. But the, I mean, I've talked about Tweety Bird before. That's in a po- past podcast. Oh, I forgot um, about that. <laughs> I had to, I, I was, yeah, you'll have to listen to that podcast, but I was Tweety Bird. Uh, I think that two things come to mind I have a hard time wearing khakis anymore because I worked at a movie theater. My first job was at a movie theater and this was not like a costume. This is the, the uniform was yellow shirts and khaki pants. And that's, and I had, that's all you could wear at work. And I, I like don't look best buy. Yes. And <laughs> I don't like best buy. Doesn't I don't, it? I don't look good in yellow, so I don't wear yellow. And then um, khakis are very hard because there's something about khakis that, I just don't find attractive. Mm -hmm. And I think it has everything to do with because it was a work uniform. So um, I do own a pair, but it is every time I put it on, it's like, oh, this is I'd rather have different color on. Um, But I will say the worst uniform or costume is a costume. And I made the mistake. I forgot what they're called. But, you know, those those body uniform, those 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 body um, it's all one color and it mutes out the person underneath and you look like a. There's a name for it. Oh, yeah. Um, they were in some commercials. It's almost like Blue Man Group or something. Yeah, um, but it but it's it's a full body cover and you can yes. get it in different colors. And so I made the mistake on the morning show that we were a part of, of of Katie's brother had was the first one to ever show me this costume. And it was brand new. And so I and I introduced it to the morning show. And so thus as the loss of a bet i had to wear one on the corner uh in buckhead in atlanta no it wasn't buckhead it was it was uh on the corner of peach tree and piedmont a morph suit morph suit that's it oh i just googled it a morph suit i had to wear a morph suit on the co- corner of peach tree and piedmont in atlanta which is one of the busiest <laughs> intersections in the city <laughs> i remember that anyway I, I guess that is technically buckhead and um the worst and i was on the yeah i was on the corner with one of those on <laughs> melissa we need to dig <laughs> up the photos and put no. that in the newsletter Why? come on it's, it's, it's i could do, I'm not well whatever you tell me that we got to do pictures of that too <laughs> i don't know if i have any but I, now look let me tell i will say this i wouldn't mind it because i could i could pull off a morph suit back then <laughs> I couldn't pull, yeah, pull off a morph suit today. <laughs> you show yourself in that morph suit. <laughs> I can't, couldn't pull it off today. <laughs> okay. So I think the worst costume I had to wear was an Alice in Wonderland costume because I had, I worked at, it was actually one of my favorite jobs. It was called the Bay Gables Tea Room. And it was my first serving job in a restaurant where I served very old ladies afternoon tea. Okay. That was my typical job on a Saturday. And well, okay. Sunday. Let, let me just stop you for a second. When you say very old ladies, how old were they? Are they very oh, well, old today? I grew up, <laughs> oh yeah. I grew up in St. Petersburg, Florida, which is okay. now a cool hip city. Back when I was growing up there, the average age was like 88. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Like that right. was the average. Like Truly this was, old, old women. Yes. This was God's waiting and room. So sweet. And so that was my job was to serve them tea and finger sandwiches and scones and clotted cream and very fancy yes all the fun little things and it was such a fun job every once in a while they would have these events and they had like an easter alice in wonderland themed tea for like mommies and daughters and my boss just thought it would be so cute if I dressed up like Alice in Wonderland. And I was in my like angsty teenage years. So now I actually don't think that would be a bad costume or a bad thing to do because it'd be <laughs> sweet for little kids. And now I'm a parent or whatever. But when I was an angsty teenager and wearing Doc Martens, you right. know what I mean? <laughs> like... <laughs> Dressing up like Alice in Wonderland and having the headband and, you know, my hair curled and blonde and walking around the thing. I was like, 
it, it felt a little humiliating. That it just remind me the thicker the sole of your shoe, the bigger oh, yeah. the attitude. <laughs> oh yeah. I was cool back then. Yeah. yeah I was nice. like Yeah, trying to smoke camel lights and wear my yeah. Doc Martens. And I didn't want anything <laughs> about being Alice in Wonderland. I mean, fast forward to my early 30s when I was divorced and single and Alice in Wonderland for a Halloween party. That was the best night ever. I got lots of attention. <laughs> Well, it was a different audience. It wasn't yeah. the old ladies. <laughs> it wasn't the old ladies or the little kids. <laughs> but seeing my future, I would think if I was an old lady and saw you in that, it would cross my mind for a second because I'm not dead yet. 